bigger than Jesus? Well, the box office numbers show that Deadpool officially is, for now. Nobody ever got in trouble for comparing themselves to Jesus' popularity before, right? We meant more to kids than Jesus did, or religion, at that time. I wasn't knocking it or putting it down, I was just saying it. Well, so far, at least Deadpool's faring better than John Lennon in that regard. It turns out the world hasn't tired of the Merc with the Mouth spouting R-rated, fourth-wall-breaking, metatextual filth. Now in its second week in theaters, Deadpool and Wolverine is still having a great old time at the box office, raking in an incredible $395 million on the domestic market, making it the biggest R-rated movie in U.S. cinema history. In hitting this benchmark, Marvel Studios' prayers have been answered. Wade Wilson and Logan's road trip has taken the esteemed record away from the Son of God himself. Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ has officially lost the number one spot it held for the last 20 years. The actor-director's harrowing adaptation of the 12 hours leading to Jesus' crucifixion left theaters with $370 million when it was released in 2004. Now, with Marvel's superhero road trip in the top spot, The Passion of the Christ is in second place, just ahead of the original Deadpool, which earned just over $363 million at the domestic box office in 2016. It's an impressive achievement for a threequel spawned from what might be the riskiest comic book movie franchise in history, but should come as no surprise given that Wade himself made a nod to all this in Deadpool 2. During an escape with Dopinder in that movie, the assassin revels in being named in the same sentence as Jesus himself. Passion of the Christ, then me. At least domestically. We beat them overseas, where there's no such thing as religion. The movie's writers considered that joke one of its riskiest, but perhaps not for the reasons you would expect. In the commentary track, Rhett Reese, who co-wrote all three movies, said, It's a risky joke because it could have gone either way. We'd have to change it if something else came along. That's right. The risk wasn't the sacrilege, but the chance that another movie could swoop onto the list. Thankfully, nothing did. I'm the Messiah. I. Am. Marvel Jesus. But while Wade may have broken a 20-year record, there's a chance that the superhero's recent success might be overtaken by Gibson's next biblical epic. It took six years for a follow-up to Deadpool 2 to hit screens, but Gibson's long-rumored Passion of the Christ sequel has been decades in the making. Rumors of a 2025 release date for Passion of the Christ Resurrection were stirring online in 2023, but since then, nothing has been nailed down. The only significant update came from Gibson himself, who revealed in a 2023 interview that he was choosing between two script options. And one of them is very structured and a very strong script, and kind of more what you'd expect, and the other is like an acid trip. Gibson added that the second script goes into other realms, including Hell, and involves falling angels. The director also assured those awaiting the sequel that Jim Caviezel will reprise his role as Jesus in a return to what was one of the actor's most demanding performances. Playing the Son of God even saw the actor suffer the rare injury of being struck by lightning during filming. Should the production come to pass, it might mark yet another round in the fight for box office supremacy between Deadpool and the non-Marvel Messiah, which is a sentence we never thought we'd say out loud. That said, the international box office listings are a whole different story. The Passion of the Christ sits at the 10th spot on that list, well below all three Deadpool movies. Deadpool and Wolverine has yet to surpass the top two there, Joker and Oppenheimer. <laughs>